Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're playing some more E4. Uh, Big Blue Blob. Running kind of low on time here. 49 power projection. I do need to declare war on a rival soon. I need another rival, in fact. Uh, I have no truce with you. Can I embargo you? I think I already did a long time ago. Uh, where is that held? Trade? Yes. Darn. Alright, I want to look at this peace deal. I basically want to create just like a path of low development conquest type stuff. I'm gonna skip Savoy because this is capital. I'm not gonna get this mission by the way. We're gonna take Vaud. We're gonna take Wallace 7. 17 pretty high, but it's the best province I can get to, to path through here. We'll skip the 19. Will we? 13, 19, 10. I can take Nice because it's on the coast. I don't have a claim on Parma. So that is 57 base aggressive expansion. A lot of people who'd be pretty upset. Part of the reason why I was considering just doing an alliance with Portugal, or not Portugal, uh, Poland, instead of, instead of trying to do Imperial ban on him. I could skip Novara. That also means that Milan wouldn't be too upset with me. I was hoping to take Novara so I could get adjacency to Cremona and get easy access to Venice. And also easy access to down here. But I'm the Emperor, I keep forgetting that, so I, I don't have to worry about easy access. I can march through everywhere. So in that case, maybe I don't want to take that much. Maybe I just want to take the lowest of the lowest development provinces. Uh, 13 is less than 17. Uh, but these two are like the... These, these three are the lowest of all he's got. I could just take those and nothing else. Keeps it nice and easy. Easy to get the peace deal. Doesn't even really trigger the coalition yet. That's... Feels kind of weak. Three provinces. But if I can make it a quick war... And then with Venice, maybe we can sneak, like, Dalmatia. Is Dalmatia within coring range? Yes. Okay, great. So I should start fabricating on Bosnia. Or, yeah, Bosnia, Ragusa, Serbia. Still hoping that Pope Man won't defend him. Seems unlikely at this point. I always got Verdun joining him as well. He must be reforming his uh, trade league. Or something. So Verdun, huh? 11 development. It's inside the Empire. It doesn't really do what I want. The Teutons, who were winning their war pretty handily, still haven't ended it. Because... reasons. Bosnia has them as a subject. Interesting. Should be even easier to get some claims then. Truces. Need the siege to finish. I want to end this war. Milan has declared reconquest on Savoy. Another person piling in, apparently. Okay, so he'll take that land back, which is fine. Surprised he didn't use excommunicated ruler. Damn it, water shortage. Considering how little war score I'm actually asking for here. I think that I might even, perhaps, not maintain these sieges.
Yeah, um... I'm gonna be just leave behind a single troop for Occupied and Besieged, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna pay the maintenance for this. In fact, if I had even just one extra cannon, I might lower my maintenance, but I want to keep full five. 70. Come on, take it. Oh my god, game, why do you do this to me? Completely isolated Austria if I enforce a alliance break between Liege and Austria. Trier would join. I could get Bohemia in now. Provence would join. Ottomans would join. Ottomans are a little bit distracted at the moment, though. So pretty soon, then, is what you're saying. Man, he's just suddenly got all of his friends back. That did not take him long to recuperate at all. The development's really too high to take advantage of anything with Florence. Uh, I think I messed around with the excommunication a little bit too much. Trying to make something happen there. Alright. Portugal I don't care about. Aragon don't really care about. Austria is still my rival, so that's never going to matter. Who who was it? I want to just see, like, a list. So after... Austria, we're looking at like right in the middle of the pack is what I'm looking for. Salzburg, Nuremberg, Aachen. Salzburg, Nuremberg, Nuremberg Aachen. That's high enough relations with the Pope. Salzburg, Nuremberg, Aachen. I spell Nuremberg. They're a country or something in here. I hear they're a place, they're a thing. There they are. That siege felt like it took forever. Still on track to integrate in time, right? April of 94, it's even faster now, good. That's probably because I'm not overextended at the moment, but I will be in a moment. So that's 50 war score, that's definitely enough. Even if he's on... Higher enthusiasm, it won't matter. Alright, I want your cash, and I'm probably never gonna go to war with you again. And it is excommunicated rulers, I can make you release Montferrat. That's no aggressive expansion, only 13 war score. That would be good, extra prince. Didn't give me war ups on top of it all. Sweet. It's a pretty good peace deal for me. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so I get three provinces, you release a guy, and we go. Interesting, I was allowed to take that. Uh, yeah, interesting, I'm even allowed to core it, considering that it's not adjacent to anything that I own. But yeah, cool, we'll take it. Sounds good. It also means that until I go to war, I am stuck here now. Okay. Those cores are in progress. That didn't slow this down by too much, right? October of 95. I do have spare diplo points, so I'll be able to do a thing. One more idea to get rid of this uh, corruption. Which is affecting coring costs and stuff. Also, we got the peace deal done before the uh, aggressive expansion decay, which is great. So now I think is really the probably pro probably the time to just, just really dive in here to... Uh, Attack Austria. I lost a little bit of diplomatic reputation. Trier wants a promise of land.
I really thought Bohemia said that they were going to join. Was it a different uh, CB or something that they were willing to come in on? It's changed. I don't think there's anything I, I could really do right now to harm his relations with uh, Bohemia. At this point, probably going to be raising autonomy in most provinces. And I come down to the wire, so I'm playing a little bit slower than before. Um, naturally, the land that's within my my actual states, I don't have claims on. Level 3, 4, I don't really want to mess with. And then the other person you're, pull you're pulling in now that you weren't pulling in before was Salzburg. Level 1, usually. No, it's level 3. Shoot. I can only break one alliance. I have military tech advantage. I, I think it's just... I just gotta do it. Especially if... Have you mothballed any forts? What on earth am I waiting for? Got two mothballed forts up here. That one's fully maintained. I would start within that zone of control. Actually, it can't project zone of control into my lands, so I should be able to march from there if I declare right away. Alright, so we're down to speed two. Um, I want two diplomats free so I can do this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna come back from Salzburg. Gonna break the alliance between you and Austria, hopefully. Yes, good, okay. Sorry, Liege. No friends for you. Okay. So now, Genoa's gonna decline. Salzburg will join. That's fine. They don't really matter too much. Trier. Do I have the war score available to give him some land? I think so, yeah. Plus, if I give Trier a bunch of land, I can make everyone attack him instead of me. Interesting. So we're going to make the war goal over... Something easy for me to get to and hard for him to get to. So probably like Vlandrin. Ottomans, you're coming in. Trier... Do I have time... To give him some land. And how much land am I actually looking to take? I'm only taking three provinces, probably. So seven, eight, and eight. I can easily give him some land. I'll, I'll, I'll let him have a, a province or two. Keep on forgetting to check to see if they have any other allies I want to bring in. Ulm, Wurzburg? No. Still full maintenance. Already started my cores. Claire. Immediately march through to the fort. We will be there on the 20th of December, nice and easily. Um, It's about as much spreading about as I really want to do. Oh, hi, 19 stack. In the hills. This is farmlands. I want to fight there. Alright, so praise leaders. You don't need to be here. You don't need to be there. I do want a guy up here, but in hindsight, I don't want it to be that guy. I want it to be someone with... Someone kind of average, just, you know, just a guy. I want the 2-6 here. I don't want to attack him into the hill. I want to see where he goes. Crap. Okay. Genova just the alliance. Shocking. I knew that was coming. And he's leaving. Good. 
And we get to freely march through the fort because game mechanics. Snipe the two forts. Ottomans have come in. They're going to go into the eastern side, hopefully. He's in his own war, but it's fine. And that was an actual war deck on a war uh, arrival, so thank goodness for that. 7 out of 7 relations. Still kind of surprised that I can't rival Castile. I kind of... You know what it is? I need, I need Castile to rival me. Aragon should not be a valid rival for him anymore. I should declare war on Aragon to make him invalid. Maybe get rid of Castile's physical adjacency, and then they'd stop being a valid rival. Nice Granada and Separatists down there, buddy. Did you let him take the fort? They let him siege the fort. Wow. He had a mothballed when they fired. What a dummy. Lots of pretty high development up here. Where is it? There it is. 19, 18, 21, 20, 19. I'm not going to risk it until that army is actually in position. I'm going to double everyone back until we can get form up some battle lines and be ready to go. Once you get there, then yes, we'll split off extra troops. I don't think he's got any actual men up this way. We'll block that fort, we'll block that fort, we'll block that fort. Let's go everywhere. Austria, 28,000 infantry, so some of these guys might get picked up if I'm not paying close attention. Where's the good battle train for me? It's this, like, lightish, the, the lightest green, this, this stretch here, four provinces. That's where I want to, like, make my stand. And, uh... Beyond that, there is a farmland's fort there I could go for, and Veen is in a farmland. I'm right, right? Yeah, our capital's in a farmland. Still waiting to see what goes on with this guy. He's getting his butt kicked by Poland's Polish conquest of Warmia. Damn it, you know what? He might freaking become a prince. If he loses this land but keeps this land, he becomes a prince, and then I can't I can't Imperial ban him anymore. That would not be cool. It's not what I'm looking for, game. You gotta work with me here. I wonder if I even need these heavies anymore. I should just sell some. I could get some cash for it, and then... Use it for other things. I might might need it against Castile, but probably not. I certainly don't need it against England anymore. How about Denmark? I might go to war with Denmark one more time. Denmark has navies. No heavies. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can sell at least three of them. Next time I'm at peace. Oh yeah, he's coming, he's coming up this way to pick these off. Did I just break the siege? That's not what I told you to do. Fortunately, we're still within the first month of the war, I think. It's not a huge loss, but that is really frustrating when you give up siege status. Or especially for no re really, like, no real good reason. Alright, Ottomans, I want to see that army. Where, where's that army at? Wh what's it doing in the Timurids? Get out of here! Stop worrying about Timurids, they don't matter. Fight my war. My war is more important. The boy is levering war taxes against Milan. What happened here? I only have 10% reinforcement in this province. Interesting. Can't get ah, yeah, I can't get there anymore. Okay. Well, it won't take long. Into Ansbach. 
Going east. Good. Should be back up on speed three. It's not that big of a deal right now. What's going on? All right. We're finally at war with the uh, stupid, stupid emperor man that would never die. And my income is just so trash. What's up with my income? Come on, income. I'm up. Might have something to do with the 15 fortresses that I'm paying for. And the fact that I've got a pretty damn big navy, uh, big army. I've got 30, 20, 26,000 troops more than the Ottomans. And uh, Ottomans have murked up. Oh, god damn. Ottomans. I've been sitting on this relationship with you for a long time. And now you're just going to do that? I really need you to step it up, man. At least draw some attention from the guy. Give my my opportunity here. Shift Morocco. Okay, cool. I am going to take a short break here. Uh, next episode... I am expecting that we're going to... Quite possibly be able to knock this guy out. He actually ended up accruing a ton of war exhaustion to win that previous war with Venice. His enthusiasm is going to drop like a rock. And... Ultra Strength of the Alliance is hugely in my favor. Twice as much infantry, twice as much cavalry. We actually have cannons, he doesn't. Tech advantage. Sniped two forts. This capital is in flat terrain. Alright, I'll take a break here. I'll see you in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.